morning everybody or good day okay so I can no longer say that the pseudo vaccines are not FDA approved because the Pfizer vaccine has been FDA approved it's the only one and I don't know why because it's not even a real vaccine, but that is what it is. But um, I missed you all Monday. Sorry about that. I was on a road trip to Lansing to deliver some chinchillas. Delivered 13 chinchillas downstate. And in case you don't know what a chinchilla is, they are the furriest, friendliest rodents you'd ever see. Now I have to make a shout out apology to my niece Rebecca. I'm not ignoring you. But when I'm driving, I can't really watch the comments come up. So I can't really answer the comments coming up. So my apologies to any of you who drop comments while I'm live, if I'm driving, because all I can do is go, uh, because I, I can't see without my other glasses. Yeah, <laughs> sign of old age, you can't see, can't hear. But while we're on the subject of can't see, can't hear, Sounds like Biden. And I thought I was old. So, Biden, our esteemed commander in chief, is. He's in rare form these days. They caught him on video the other day. And he says, We knew this was going to happen about the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan. He said, we knew this was gonna happen. Well, if you knew it was gonna happen, you should've got our people out of there, right? If you knew it was gonna happen, why'd you remove our troops? He knew it was gonna happen, but he did nothing to protect the American people who were in Afghanistan, nothing. So, Brilliant Joe then goes out and comes out with another news conference where he says, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. No, he says it is the fault of the Afghanistan government for not protecting Afghanistan better. That's why they asked us for help in the first place. Because they knew they couldn't do it alone. That's why our troops went over there to defend against terrorism. Now, maybe a little history lesson is in order here, but uh, <coughs> Taliban, Al-Qaeda, all these groups are terrorist organizations and have been for years. Anybody remember 9-11? I remember. Yeah. These are the same kind of idiots that did that to us. Yet, Joe the Joke has decided that they can have Afghanistan. Now, the countries near Afghanistan are worried. Yep, they're already putting up border walls and everything else because they don't want to be next. They're putting up border walls. I needed to repeat that part. Because when our president, our former president, Donald Trump, put up a border wall, Everybody was like, no, don't do that, no, don't do that, no, don't do that. 
And then when Biden got in office, stopped construction on the border wall. But other countries are doing it to protect themselves against the Taliban because Joe the Joke dropped the ball. He dropped it, he dribbled it, whatever, but he didn't have control of it. Sad, sad. So, <clears throat> I'm not really gonna vent too much on politics today. It's Tuesday, which is supposed to be my Monday live instead of my Tuesday live, but like I said, had a nice trip and discovered that in certain areas the mask wearing is more popular than the non-mask wearing. You don't have that up here in northern Michigan. It's like the further south you go, the more masks you see. We don't have hardly anybody wearing masks up here. So, wonderful trip though. Spend the day with my wife, my beautiful wife Brenda, who right now, by the way, is having what's called a Zaya party. I've invited some of you, check it out. Very nice clothes, very comfortable clothes, very well-maintained clothes. They're very sturdy, the last. Zaya makes very good workout apparel for those of you who work out. Uh, not trying to sell anything, I'm just saying. She's having a party. If I've invited you, check it out. Because I, I seem to be the only guy interested in these clothes. And of course, my wife still does. Romance by Brenda and Brenda's Pure Romance. Check those out. But, got to spend the day with my beautiful bride. Now, what better way to spend a day than with the person you love? I can't think of one. But I can think of something here. So, teacher decides to ask all of her kids in the class a question the question being what do you need and Susie says I need a new iPhone says, well that's very nice but do you need that and Susie got to thinking about it, and she's like, well, no, I've got a phone, it'll work, so I don't need that. She's right, that's a want. Teacher goes to the next child, and Brian says, I need a new video game system. She says, okay, but do you really need that? She says, or is that something you want? thinks about it, and he's like, yeah, that's something I want, that's not something I need. And then Johnny, you all know Johnny, she looks at Johnny and she says, Johnny, what do you need? Johnny looks at the teacher, he says, nothing. She says, come on, Johnny, everybody needs something, what do you need? Johnny thinks about it for a minute, and he goes, no, nothing. And the teacher says, you are obviously not taking this serious. What do you need? And Johnny says, well, last year, when Biden got elected president, my dad says, well, that's the last thing we need. Last thing. Bad joke. Good joke? Let me know. Anyway. There's things happening around the world, people. Let's pay attention. 
not just to outside of our country, but inside. Magicians always distract you with something before they do their trick, so you don't see what they're actually doing. That's what's going on. That's what's going on with all of this. I'm gonna put a link to the video, to a video in the uh, <clears throat> comments when I get stopped. Kind of sums up what's really underlying here. I want you to pay attention to the video because <clears throat> Part of it explains why Pfizer just got FDA approval. Part of it explains that. Now, for those of you who are interested in true facts about news, about events, right now, you're going to need to open your horizons. You're going to need to look places beyond your normal news outlets because mainstream media, they can't be trusted anymore. They proved that last year. They proved that over the last several years, but last year really kind of hit at home. So look at other sources. Sources like Sky News Australia or N. TV or the Epic Times. They're not afraid to tell the truth. They end up getting their videos banned on base on YouTube because it violates YouTube's policies. But they're upfront, honest, impartial news reporting. They're the ones I go to. Now over in India. They have developed a vaccine that actually has the corona in it. It's an actual vaccine this time, people. But it's a vaccine that is targeted using DNA and plasma to get it into your system. And while the FDA is saying that Pfizer's vaccine has a 91% efficiency. This one only has been tested at a 66.6 efficiency. Pfizer's isn't a real vaccine. It doesn't have the uh, cultures in it. This one does in India. But it is being produced in India and they have like eight different vaccines for this virus. So take that for what it's worth. I mean, we've got the big three here in America, but only one of those is FDA approved so far. Keep watching, America. Things are going to happen. Things are going to happen quick. By December, by December, there are some places, some countries, some businesses who want December deadlines for all of their people to be vaccinated. All of their people to get the jab. Some of them are making it, jab means job. If you don't get the jab, you don't keep your job. You know they're firing nurses, doctors, who refuse to get this? They're firing the heroes that survive. They're going after the people who put their lives on the line fighting this thing since the beginning. Because they won't get the jab. I'm not even going to call it the vaccine because it's, it's a 
a pseudo vaccine. It's not real. So, I'm not going to call it that. We're going to call it the jab. Just like we're going to call Joe the joke. But, don't be fooled. As of this moment in time, mandated is not the same as a law. Suggested, encouraged, they're using these words to try and get you to get your, um, your jab. Otherwise, they will fire you. Okay? Okay, technically, Legally, they can fire you. But, technically, legally, you don't have to work for them either. If my employer decided tomorrow that I had to get the jab or quit my job or get fired or whatever, I'd get fired. There's no way I am letting somebody else decide my medical issues, my medical conditions, or most importantly, my medical treatment for me. I'm not letting somebody else mandate, require me to do something for my own medical health. It's not going to happen. That's me. You want it? Go get the jab. You don't want it? Don't go get the jab. But if you watched my earlier video, I dropped some uh, links in the comments, and I'm going to drop some links in the comments again that are very good and important links to pay attention to. very interesting facts that are out there. So, if you want to get the jab, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not even going to try and talk you out of it. At least not through my lives. That is your decision. That is your choice. You have freedom of choice. I can't take your freedom of choice away. But neither can they. So don't let them. Don't let them do it. They are now strongly recommending that vaccinated and unvaccinated persons wear a mask at all times when outside the home. I'm not going to tell you to wear a mask. I'm not going to tell you not to wear a mask. That is your choice. Your freedom, your God-given freedom, the one that ranks over everything else, is your free will. Technically, it's the only one that's in the Bible, by the way. Nowhere in the Bible does it say you have freedom of speech. Nowhere in the Bible does it say you have freedom of religion or anything like that. But it does say you have free will. So hang on to that. In the meantime... I will uh, have to talk to y'all later, but uh, love to all. Keep it straight. I'll talk to you soon. Later.